Ayo, what's going on YouTube? We have a little bit of a serious topic to touch on first, and that's gonna get us into the main topic of this video, which is I'm basically risking everything I've worked for. Approximately 10 hours later. We just booked Airbnb for 11 months. The total is 32,000. Nine hundred and ninety two dollars but recently um, in Canada in Ontario there was a mishap at 613 lift which is the gym that I train at now there is an order that all the gyms are supposed to be closed and all this but due to the Mental Health Act and the Disability Act if you have a disability or an injury or something that you are supposed to be allowed to work out and train so there's a few private gyms that stayed open to give people this opportunity it's even crazy that you would say the word opportunity to work out in 2021 because that just seems mind-boggling correct but they have basically like barricaded off the gym. They took away several people in handcuffs, giving out fines um, and so on. And the owner of the gym is standing up for himself and saying, honestly, like this cannot go on any longer. People need fitness to survive. People need fitness to do what they do. People need fitness to just have a life and be able to do their day-to-day -day tasks whether that be your mental health whether that be physical maybe that's just prolonging your life that you have on earth that fitness is essential so fitness is essential and I don't care what anyone says I stand up for every single person no matter where you live or what you do that fitness is essential so I'm gonna go support this gym and we'll see what happens. I hate to start it off on such a negative damper mood, but Oh yeah, Woo! positivity, yeah. This is something that's really important to me because fitness has saved so many people's lives, whether that's from drugs, putting their addiction from like gambling, drugs, like harming themselves into fitness, and then getting that taken away for absolutely nothing. It just is, is crazy to me that another human could do that to another human. So let's go see what happens. And then after the workout, guys, I got some big news for you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six cops at every door. But I'm just going to throw my mask on as well. Make sure everything is on set. So far, so good, guys. Hi there. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? No, sir. Okay, so unfortunately the premises is closed to everybody except for Mr. Leonardo. So oh, okay. okay. No problem. Sure. Yeah, so. Hi, right, guys. So it's literally that easy. I'm going to get my workout in here. Um, I need this to stay like mentally sane and I'm gonna throw up a live on the way out. Like there's no if, ands, or buts. Fitness is essential. So we're gonna make this workout fucking count. We're gonna blast some arms. Like let's get this shit going. Like this. 
damn. All right, guys, so that wraps up arm day. I'm gonna do like 45 minutes of cardio because who knows what the fuck is gonna happen when I leave this gym. This isn't about standing out. This isn't about views. This isn't about anything but standing up for what's right and standing up for people's mental health. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, so we're just leaving the gym here and everyone's gone. I mean, there's no bylaw, there's no police, but one thing I wanna say though is like, you've all had shitty jobs where you did something that you didn't wanna do and the police are in a standpoint right now where they have to do something that isn't correct and they're more or less being forced against their will to do this in order to keep their job. So if you do get stopped by police, be respectful, treat them like an act, like treat them like a human being because we should all be treated like human beings on this planet and sh do not resist, show them your ID, go about your day, fight it in court, the charge won't even stand up and I hope to see every single fucking member at 613 here tomorrow because that's where I'll be, peace. Ultimately 10 hours later. We just booked the Miami Airbnb for 11 months um the total is thirty two thousand nine hundred and ninety two dollars we've been uh planning this trip for a while it's always been our dream to go to the states and try to make our dreams come true and take a risk no matter like i mean like we quit our jobs <laughs> well she quit her job i've been kind of self-employed uh, we have another YouTuber coming down with us and just Canada is not the place to be. So a lot of things are going to be changing. A lot of risks had to be taken to try to exceed as far as we possibly could. And I mean, when I'm there, I mean, the best case scenario is that I hire an immigration lawyer and register my business and corporation in the States and then I can get a U.S. citizenship and then I never have to come back here because as of right now, we do have to come back um, for at least two to three weeks, I think, so we can go back to the States. But it's just nice to know that we have a place downtown Miami for the next year and uh, we can make our dreams come true. So I just wanted to film this because this is, I a mean, big moment. it's a big moment. I'll see you guys uh wherever this video picks up from. I just want to wrap up this video right now and I know it wasn't the most eventful video but you know if you had one shot and one opportunity to see everything you ever wanted in one moment would you capture it or just let it slip? I feel that with the way YouTube is going and the way that this momentum is going and and how much of an impact we've had in just such a short period of time this we just got our lockdown extended for another four weeks which means like we've been on lockdown now for over a year and a half and, and it just keeps getting extended it keeps getting extended and I love being out I love being social I love filming the social experiments living life like the one life you have is the most precious gift you could have ever gotten on this planet earth. And I want to inspire people to show that like, yeah, like I was in the dumps. Like I didn't think that life meant anything. I, I hated life. I, I didn't even think it was worth living to the point where I wake up every single day and, and I don't even want to go to bed because I'm scared that like I'll miss something important. And that's kind of what I want to show you guys, but with everything being closed, like the mic input jack for the camera broke, but every single store is closed here. So like we've been filming without an external mic, which is making it like the sound quality is just horrible. People are scared of people here. We can't talk to anybody. We can't do anything. So to take this leap of faith, and I call it a leap of faith because we're spending all the money we saved up, we are leaving our friends, we are leaving our family, we are leaving our safety net to try to make something amazing, not just for ourselves, but to create something bigger than what anyone thought could possibly be imagined. And I feel like I'm stupid, you know, like I feel like I honestly can change 
the fitness world. I feel that I can bring more of a realistic expectation and bring people together better than than other people can simply due to the fact that, that I just want to be myself and I want to encourage every single one of you to be yourself as well because no one's doing that. Everyone's trying to tell you to be someone you're not and do something that you're not and live a certain way and stay in your box, never go outside your box and it just kills me to see your one life wasted like that. So everything is booked up guys. I'm super excited for what this has to offer us. I am not a US citizen, so I know I do have to, I can only stay a total of 180 days in the states and then I have to come back to Canada or Mexico for 180 days, but I'm going to do my best to get a citizenship when I get down there and talk to an immigration lawyer and try to make all of this work, but I hope that this can be motivational for you in the terms of just dropping everything and going after your dreams with this one life you have. But even if this video doesn't do well, I kind of just wanted to make it so I can look back and say, like, I, I did it, you know? So thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I mean, when I was working like a nine to five job that I had to work every Saturday, Sunday, and, and I would request time off and I, I wouldn't even get it. I never thought in a million years that I'd be able to travel the world and talk to you guys, meet you guys, and just change people's lives, bring people together, and more importantly, be myself, and just be who I wanted to be. I can't thank you guys enough. So, the videos are about to get fucking crazy. We leave today, we leave in three weeks, but by the time this video comes out, we're probably gonna be almost two weeks away, one week away from boarding that plane. We have some banger content lined up for you guys because shit's about to get wild, so let's go.